In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to knit up the collegiate mitten. The cuff is actually knit back and forth on either straights or circular needles size 2. While knitting the cuff, you'll be putting in a faux eye cord along the side that will work all the way around the mitten, giving a clean break between the palm and the back of the hand. You work this cuff for about three inches and then your last row after you get your three inches you'll bind off some stitches on one side and on the other to make your plackets and then you join in the round and you'll distribute your stitches then on some size three double points and start knitting the body of your mitten. Right after you distribute your stitches on your double points, you're also going to start working your thumb gusset. Now this thumb gusset is a basic thumb gusset um, using uh, make one right, make one left as you build up this triangle and just follow the directions and whatever your motif is for your mitten, just follow the uh, follow the pattern, you shouldn't have any problems at all. At the same time, you'll still be running this eye cord up the side, but now, of course, you can just drop your bobbins and start working the eye cord in as you would with your other contrast color and just work Fair Isle all the way up. After you have built your thumb up, following the pattern, you'll put your thumb stitches on a holder and continue with your the rest of your hand at the top doing your decreases. Now you can adjust the size of the mitten to your hand. When you get to the tip of your little finger is where you start doing your decreases. These mittens will also fit a man. Just put the mitten on your hand and right at the top of your nail of your little finger you can begin your decreases. And then at the top just go ahead and this is a Kitchener stitch and we've got a video that you can follow to learn how to do Kitchener stitch at the top. When you're done with the palm of your the body of your mitten you can go back to your thumb and you'll cast on a couple of stitches here in the crease and you'll need to follow in pattern with your eye cord and just cast a couple stitches over that hole finish your thumb and again you can either do you can either join your thumb top together or do a kitchener stitch on the top to close your thumb up and then using your tails that you have in here you can help snug up and close that uh, gap that is created in the crease of your thumb and make that nice and snug. And that's about it. It's a basic mitten pattern. It's a little different because of the because of the cuff. I'm not a big fan of double points on in rib stitch so I tried to come up with something um, a little different and I hope you enjoy knitting your mitten.